Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is very exciting to film. It's one that I've been wanting to film for a long time. I put a lot of research and effort into it and so I hope you enjoy. It is a video all about products that are actually cheaper if you buy the travel size or the sample size of it. Um, a lot of times when you're buying the travel size or the mini size of a product, it's actually a lot more expensive per ounce and it's kind of a ripoff. But there are some examples, some rare examples, where buying the smaller size is actually a better deal. All of these products I'm talking about are available right now on Sephora's website. The Sephora sale, the VIB sale, is happening right now. And so I wanted to talk about all of these products so you knew about all of them, just in case you were going to buy them for the sale. I wanted to let you know that that buying the smaller size was a better deal plus the 20% off discount on top of that would actually give you like a really great deal. You guys know me, I'm always trying to save my money, I'm always trying to get a good deal on everything. I am going to put a little chart in the corner of the video, that way you can look at each size option and the price per ounce for each size, and that way if you're better at taking an in information visually like I am, it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. So I have my little paper here, I'm going to be looking down a lot because it's a lot of numbers and I don't have it memorized. So the first one I want to talk about is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. It comes in four size options, and if you look, the 0.5 ounce one, the smallest one, is actually the cheapest per ounce. So buying a bunch of the 0.5 ounce ones is actually a better deal than buying any of the full size products. And I do want to point out, I heard about this specific example from Kaylee Bout here on YouTube. I'm sorry if I'm not saying your last name correctly. I've never heard her say it, so I don't know what's the correct way to say it, but I think it's Bout. She talked about how getting the smallest price was the best deal, was the best like per ounce cost. So I did hear about that one from her. A lot of them I did find on my own, just like looking through Sephora's website and doing some quick calculations, but a couple of them I did get the idea from Reddit. Um, I saw a lot of these examples available on Reddit as well, so just wanted to be very clear. These are not like all 100% my ideas, and this is definitely something that's been talked about before, and I'm sure you could find other examples available out there online. These are just a bunch that I wanted to share with you before the Sephora sale ended. The very next one is one that I learned from Reddit, and it's the Amiga Hot Mess, Hot Mess Texture Gel. And that one comes in two size options, the two ounce and the four ounce. The two ounce option is only $5 per ounce, while the full size, the four ounce, is $6. So not a huge difference in price, but it is a better deal to get two of the smaller ones versus one of the full size. The next bunch of products I want to talk about are actually all primers. I think I have four or five options here. This is really great for someone like me personally because I don't go through primers that easily. I don't use a lot when I do use them and also I don't use them every day. For me, it would be smarter for me to buy the small size just because I don't think I could go through the whole thing before it went bad. And also I like trying different products and so I like having options of different ones. So I would rather not have the full size. If it's cheaper to have the smaller size, I would rather have those. The first one I want to talk about is the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. That one comes in two size options and the first one, 0.68 ounces, is actually only $22.06 per ounce while the full size is $23.70 per ounce. The second one is the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. That one also comes in two sizes, 0.5 ounces and one full ounce. The 0.5 ounce one is $32 per ounce, while the full size, the one ounce, is $38 per ounce, which means that if you were to buy two of the half sizes, then that would save you $6 versus buying just one of the full size. Another one is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12-Hour Primer SPF 30. That one, once again, comes in the half size and the full size. That one is $28 per ounce for the half size versus $37 for the one ounce, which means, once again, if you were to buy two of the half ounce ones, you would save $9 versus buying a full size of the one ounce product. Another one is the Becca Backlight Filter Face Primer. Once again, half size and one full ounce. You get $36 per ounce for the half size versus $38 for the one ounce, which means if you were to buy two of the half size, you would only save $2, but still that's a better deal than buying one ounce of the full size. And the last one is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. That one is $30 per ounce versus $34 for the full ounce, meaning you would save $4 if you bought two of the half ounce products versus just one of the full one ounce size. This one is, I think, pretty exciting. It's the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. This is only for the illuminating version and not for like the regular setting powder. The full size is actually not available on the Sephora website since last time I checked. You have to get it from the Cover FX website, but the 0.14 ounce version is available on Sephora's website. That one is only $10 while the 0.35 ounce one, the full size on the Cover FX site is 35, meaning that you are saving 
it's almost $30 per ounce if you were to buy the travel size. I do have some skincare examples. The first one is the Drunk Elephant Rise and Glow Duo. I have it set up where I have the duo and then if I were to have one full size of one version versus the other product and then what you would buy if you bought both of them together. So I kind of broke it down into that kind of chart. If you were to buy the duo, so technically buying the Hydra product by itself would only be $30.77 per ounce, but if you wanted to try both products and if you wanted both products, buying them together would actually be cheaper per ounce. So just keep that in mind. If you were to buy the Duo, you would only be paying $42.59 per ounce versus if you were to buy both of them together, you would be paying $49.07 per ounce. The next example is the Sunday Riley Power Couple Duo. If you like both the Luna Oil and the Good Jeans, it would actually be a good idea to buy the Duo because with the Duo, you're only paying $85 an ounce versus buying a full size of either of the products, you would be paying $105 per ounce. I have two more duos I wanna talk about, but they're both makeup products. The first one is the Kevin Aquan, the Contour Duo on the go. This one has two very famous products from the Kevin Aquan line, the Contour, powder and the highlighter. So if you were to get the duo, you would be paying $138 per ounce versus buying a full size of each of them, you would be paying like $400 per ounce and $300 per ounce. So it's cheaper to get the duo than it is to get either of the full size products. The next one is the Tarte Overexposed Highlighter Set. Getting the duo would actually only cost you $17.50 per ounce while buying a full size of either, either of the products would cost you $51 per ounce or $145 per ounce. And the very last one is actually the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. This isn't travel size versus full size because getting the travel size for the La Vanilla ones is going to be more expensive per ounce. I'm actually talking about different scents or fragrances within the line. Getting the Pure Vanilla or the Fresh Vanilla Lemon Scent will actually only cost you $7 per ounce, but getting the full size of any of the other fragrances will cost you $8.24. So if you like the La Vanilla deodorants but you don't have a preference for different fragrances, try the Pure Vanilla or the Fresh Vanilla Lemon because it's actually like $1.24 cheaper per ounce. And those are all the examples I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was like a fun idea. There are tons of more examples like this on the internet. So if this is something that interests you or something that you want to try to save your money, then look online. There's tons of options out there. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video and maybe I can do some research and do it for different stores other than Sephora. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.